Hey guys, Splice Wave here, and I'm back with another PlayStation Home Offline video. This one will be a little different to my previous videos, as this time this is something you guys can do if you want to help out if you can, which I'll explain to you how it works. So for my PlayStation Home Offline update, the way I find new spaces and such is through something known as PlayStation Home Cache Data, which is basically the PS Home app itself on PS3. That data, or app, is where all the new content in PS Home Offline updates come from, which includes spaces, screen links, which means the posters and videos you can see in spaces, mini games, clothing, locomotions, and much, much more. So without any new PS Home cast data, I cannot continue to make PS Home Offline updates. And in case you are curious, there is no personal information whatsoever in cast data, because like I said, it's pretty much just the game itself. So if you were worried about that, don't be. Anyways, now that I've explained what cache data is and why it's so important, if you're interested in donating your cache data, continue watching as that's what I'm going to show you next in this video. So with that said, let's get started. So the first thing you might be wondering is, how do I know if I have PS Home cache data or not? Well, it's pretty simple. Just go on your PS3 and then go to the PlayStation Network tab. And if between the PlayStation Plus icon and the PlayStation Store icon, there is a PlayStation Home icon there, then that's a good sign. And to check how much data is there and what version, simply press triangle, make sure you don't press X or start it, and definitely don't delete it. And then just go to information, and it might take a few seconds to calculate, but typically it will be around three gigabytes large like mine is, but I have seen caches up to 12 gigabytes in size, so it can vary. So that's how to check for it if you have PS Home data. So let's move on to how you can extract it if you have it. So for this, you will need to have the homebrew application known as Multiman, also known as MMCM as you can see here, on your PS3 and there's two ways to get that. The first is to be on custom firmware which I showed in one of my previous tutorials, how to jailbreak, install custom firmware and convert to DEX on PS3 video. So if you've done that, you can skip this next part of the video. But then there's the second way, which is to get on PS3 Hen which I will be showing you how to do in this video. And of course, if you're already on PS3 Hen, you can skip to the next part of this video as well. So with that all said, let's get started with installing PS3 Hen, and we'll start on the PC side of things. So let's go over there. So here we are on PC, and the first thing we're going to do is plug in our USB drive, which I already have, and then open File Explorer, so we can format our USB drive to FAT32 format. But if you've got anything on your USB drive that you don't want to lose, Back it up now, as it will be deleted from your USB when we format it. Anyways, the way to format your USB is to find your USB drive, which is right here. And then right click it, and then click on Format. And then File System, there's a drop down menu, should give you FAT32. And then simply press Start. Gives you a little warning, just click OK. And it'll do it. But if you cannot format to FAT32 like I just done, there is another way to format your USB drive to FAT32, which I will show you from a clip from my previously mentioned how to jailbreak, install custom firmware, and convert to DEX on PS3 video tutorial on how to format a USB drive to FAT32 if you cannot do it the way I showed you. But if for any reason you are unable to format to FAT32, then in the description there'll be a link to download a program called Rufus, which uh, I'll show you here, there'll be a link. So for me I'll open my browser, paste in the link, and then we're going to look for the download option. Download it like so, open it, click yes, this doesn't really matter. And then select your USB, like so, for me it's that. Always put non-bootable, make sure it's MBR, and then FAT32, and then click Start. And then we're done. So now your USB is successfully formatted to FAT32, so simply Close out of here. 
So now that's done, let's move on to the next step, which is to open your browser and go to this website, which is linked in the video description, which is ps3exploit.com, and then look for the newest version of HEN, or HFW as it's known, and click on, for example, for me here, the newest one is 4.88.1. So we'll click on that, take us to PSX place, and then scroll down till you find mirrors. So. There's three places you can get it from, Mediafire, Mega, and SendSpace. I like Mega, so we're going to use that. And then just click Download. And we'll let it do its thing. And when it's done downloaded, we'll continue on. Okay, so now that it's downloaded, what we're going to do is go back into File Explorer, and then go onto our USB. Just check that it's clean, yep. And then we're going to go on to Downloads, or wherever you downloaded it to, what we just downloaded. And open it. Should be in WinRAR format, yep. Hit close and then have this sort of like this essentially. Then we'll go onto our USB and then keep WinRAR open. And this PS3 folder, just drag and drop. And then let me just check the name. Yep, that's all good. So now we've done that, just simply right click on your USB and click eject. Oh, and you can also uh, close this if you want as well as the web page. And now let's move back over to the PS3. Now on the PS3, first thing we need to do is check that it recognizes the USB. So go over to something like video, or music or photos and just see if your USB shows up. For me it has, so that's good. Which means that we can go over to system update, update via storage media, press OK. Agree to the license and then click start. and then we'll let it do its thing. Okay, now it's installing, and then eventually it's gonna reboot and we'll just be on the PS3 main screen, and we'll continue from there when that happens. Okay, so we're back on the PS3 XMB screen, and now what we're going to do is go onto the PS3 internet browser, and when we're on it, we're gonna press triangle, go to tools, and then simply confirm browse close and then turn it off if it's on Then press triangle again go to tools and then home page use blank page and then click OK and then go to tools again and then we see delete cookies delete search history delete cache don't worry not your PlayStation home cache and delete authentication information we're gonna click on all four of these so first we'll do delete cookies and then delete cache, and then delete search history, and then delete authentication information. So that will give us a nice clean web page. And then we're going to close out of the internet browser by pressing circle, and then opening it again. And then we're going to press the start button and then type exactly like this ps3exploit.com just like this intentionally missing the e and then press start again and then when it loads you can press the select button and add it to bookmarks just in case you need to go back to it and then over in the top left where it says ps3 hen and then click on hen installer alternative and then we're just gonna let it do its thing okay and it successfully worked I had to redo it because uh, it failed for the first time so if that happens to you don't worry it's totally normal just reload the web page and it should so as you can see it says close browser open remote play and quit immediately Use new icon to download and install HEN, and then reboot after installation. So let's do that. So 
we're going to close the browser by pressing circle. I'm going to go into remote play. And then just quick circle, simple as. going to reload the system and then a new icon appears called install hen so we're going to click on it click on it again install now it's installed then Okay, now it's done installing. So the last thing to do now is to reboot our PS3. So we're going to turn it off and turn it on again. So let's do just that. Okay, we're back on the PS3 menu after turning it off and turning it on again. So now we're going to go to game and you'll see there's a new icon, Enable Hen. And we're going to click X on that. And let it do its thing. It's going to load Hen for us. And then there's one thing we need the PC for, for installing HEN. So we're going to take our USB, and if it's still plugged into your PS3, which it is to mine, take it out, and we're going to move back over to the PC. So let's go there. So we're back on PC again, and just like how we got the PS3 update file, we're going to open our browser, and then paste in it this link, which is in the video description, of course, which is to download Multiman. Then we're going to click on this option here. Scroll down, and then there's four of them. We're just going to download the first one for this tutorial. And then once it's downloaded, we'll continue. Okay, and it's finished downloading, so now we're going to go into File Explorer, go on to Downloads, and then simply copy what we just downloaded. And then on our USB, we're just going to paste it in the root. And well, we don't really need this anymore, so we can delete that. And then we're going to eject our USB and then plug it back into our PS3. So now we're back on PS3. We're going to go on this package manager folder under game and go to install and then just click standard. It's going to find that P PKG we just downloaded. Click X on it and then we're going to install it. Perfect. So I am pleased to say that that's the hen tutorial part done and now we shall move on to the next part of the video which is extracting your PS Home cache data. So let's do that. So the first thing to do is open Multiman. And this first step is optional but if you want to turn off the music you can in settings by going down to theme audio. So let's find that. There it is. And you can click Disable, enable, it will be on by default, if you want to turn it off, you can click disable like I have. And then go over to the left, MMCM, and then go to File Manager slash MMOS and click X on it. Then, using the right stick, because the controls might be a little different to what you're expecting, use the right stick, go over to PS3 Root, double click X on it. Then go to Dev HCD 0, double click. Then go to game, the lowercase one, not the, the big one. And then using the D-pad to scroll down, go all the way till you find NPIA triple zero, well no, not triple zero, quadruple zero, five. And then double click X on it. Go into USR DIR, double click X, cache. And now we're gonna do something that is going to make it so much quicker for you both to transfer it off this PS3 and to upload it. So what we're going to do is, see all these folders, these between world map and clans, including those two. We're going to go into each of them. And we won't need to do it here, but we're going to look for a file called reserved. We're going to press X on it once. We're going to press circle. 
and then we're going to press delete. And then using the D-pad left, since circle obviously does that, we press D-pad left to go back. Then we go into globals and then we sort it by size. We click it twice, so it's big to smallest. Then we click X on it, press circle, and then we delete it. And then we just do that for all of these files essentially. So for example, object there settings is just one file, so obviously we can't do it to that. Object devs. And now by default, it should be sorted by size, so you don't have to click that every time. Windows take note. And then delete. Object thumbs. Reserved. And delete. This will in turn make this cache so much smaller. Like I looked earlier at my cache data, out of the three gigabytes, 750 megabytes is the reserve file, just in that one folder. So it's gonna make a huge difference. And then obviously we're going to globals. Where's it gone? Oh well. Oh, I guess there's not one here, oh well. And then world map, delete, and then scenes, most importantly, honestly, and then we'll delete, and then clans, not even a reserve file there, video, reserved, yep, just two of these files make up half of my cache data. That's why we're deleting them. And then back. And then HTTP. Delete. And then profile. And that's the deleting process done. So let's go back. And then let's sort it by name so they can be together. And then click on both of these, press circle, and then copy. And then for obviously the, uh, we're gonna go on PS3 root, just gonna take a shortcut, double click. And then this is our USB that's plugged in right now, the same one we used to install Multiman and the firmware. So we're just gonna double click on that. And then we're gonna press circle right here and just click paste. And then we're just gonna let it copy. And once it's done, we'll come back to this. And just to prove a point, originally my cache was just under 3000 megabytes, and after I deleted all those reserve files, it's now only 742 megabytes. So obviously it's gonna be a lot more quicker to transfer this to my USB and also upload it later on, which we'll get to. Okay, and now it's done. And just to be on the safe side, just so it doesn't corrupt, what we're gonna do is we're gonna Back out of this, just hold down the PS button. And then we're just gonna turn off the system because now we're done with PS3. And once it's turned off, take out your USB and put it into your PC. So let's do that. Okay, so we're back on PC and I have my USB plugged into my PC now. So we need a place to upload this cache data, but the first thing we need to do is package it up together in order to make uploads in it a lot faster. So the first thing we're gonna do is open File Explorer, go to your USB drive, and in these two folders here, we're gonna to need to put them into a folder together. So right click, new, and then you can just title this something like PS Home Cache. Doesn't have to be in catch, you can call it whatever you want. And then we're simply going to select these two and then just drag and drop them into there. And then we're either gonna turn this into a WinRAR file 
or a zip file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click. If you wanna turn it into WinRAR file, you can do there. Or if you wanna turn it into a zip, you can do there. You can choose what you want to do. But for me, I'm going to add to pshomecache.rar. And then we're gonna let it do its thing. Okay, so now it's done adding it all into a RAR file, which is good. That's exactly what we need. And now we need a place or a website to upload this to, which if I was to recommend you any places, it would be either Google Drive or Mega. And for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you Mega. So let's go on to Mega right now. So here we are on Mega. It's fairly simple. You obviously will need an account, as you can probably tell. So one way to do it is to either drag or drop the folder or the file from File Explorer, or we can go to over here, Upload, File Upload. We go to our USB drive, and then select what we just put into a RAW file, and then we let it update. So when it's done, we'll continue. Okay, so now it's done uploading, and this is the very last step, which is to make this file public to download and to get the link to it. So what you do is, you just come up here, click on the three dots, get link, let it load, might be a bit slow, and then just copy the link. And if you're on Google Drive, you're gonna have to set it to anyone with the link can download this, just for example. And then, once you have that link, Simply, if you're not already, join my Discord server. And then scroll down till you see the chat called Insert Cache here. And then simply paste it in, just like that. And done. That's, that's it. That's the whole process done. So, is there any rewards for doing this? Well, the answer is yes. As you can see here, there's two channels, Update Previews an update previews discussion. So when I release updates, just before then, or a few days even, I like to uh, release in this channel some of the things that will be in this update. So if you're a cash donator, you're going to see what's coming in the update before everyone else does. Anyways, guys, that brings us to the end of the video, and I hope you all enjoyed. I am getting closer to having the next offline update ready, so stay tuned for that. But with that said, take care and peace. Thank <laughs> you.